How's it going? I don't know what to call this, so that's what I'm going to call it. How's it going? Uh, first, shout out to Marcus Webley, right? Dude, it is awesome to see you back online, see you back on YouTube, <clears throat> and to hear that you're doing better. Family and I have been praying for you for a long time, dude. Glad to hear that, you know, you're doing better. However you feel with the prayers, awesome. But, there it is. Glad to hear that you are doing better. Can't wait to see videos if you can make them. Any kind, don't care. Be it AKs or whatever else, you know, don't care. Dude, just good to see that you're healthy and you're getting better. That said. <laughs> fuck. You know, talking to people today and it's like, man... I was alive at the fall of Saigon, right? I was a kid, a little kid, right? About 10. But I was alive at the fall of Saigon. And that's what this whole fucking Afghanistan shit feels like, right? Now I hear Biden sending troops in, right, to uh, help get the embassy staff and whatever else, whoever else can fucking jump on that last chopper, right? That they're going to... Kick into the fucking South China Sea. Oh, yeah, wait, sorry. That was Vietnam. <laughs> Again, why it sounds so much... This whole fucking thing from the beginning has been like Vietnam. And nobody ever wanted to hear it. Nobody ever wanted to listen to me when I was saying it back in the day, right? Nobody ever wanted to listen how, you know, Bush fucking... If if it wasn't a forest false flag 9-11, which we're coming up on the 20th anniversary of, right? Uh, if it wasn't a false flag, then Bush squandered a great fucking rallying point to the American people, right? So, I don't know what to tell people, man. It's just crazy. And watching what's going on in, in fucking Afghanistan and all the equipment that we left back there and all the equipment that's being, you know, sent everywhere else now, right? Heading to Pakistan, going whatever. If there's a fucking border that touches... Fucking Afghanistan, American equipment is fucking bleeding out of it. Because the people said that once the invader left, like they've always done, they said, ah, you know what? Fuck it, we're done. We're going back to our guys. Right? No matter what the fuck people said, we're going back to our guys. Oh, the Taliban, the Taliban, the Taliban. Yeah, we were friends with them until we weren't, and then we fucking invaded a country, the country that empire is going to die in, and this dying empire went there and here we are, right? And what did the Afghans say? Yeah, the second that it's out, the Taliban, they're, they're right back in. They don't give a fuck. They didn't give a fuck then. They don't give a fuck now. They're going to run the fucking country the second the invader leaves. It's their fucking country. Sorry for all you fucking people who went there and fought and died and fucking blah, blah, blah. Got blown up, got PTSD, spent fucking, you know, whatever. Po good portions of your life serving the American flag. Serving it. Doing what they told you. How to work out in the end. Let me know. How's it work out in your lives? How's the economy doing for you? How's your grocery stores look for you? How's all that shit look for you? How's it feel being part of the generation that watches the American experiment die? It's been dying for a while, but man, it's really gasping now, isn't it? It's crazy. But here we are. And ain't shit anybody gonna do about it.